All right, so this is kind of a, I guess, Lego Spider-Verse um, mock thing I made. And then I guess we'll just start from over here. We got Mysterio with his little illusions and everything going on. That's why they all are pretty much in the exact same position. And then that's why he's here and everyone's ignoring him. And then what's going on right here is that this one's actually being used I couldn't I didn't want to put it over here but the idea is that the illusion is over here holding the hand back and that's why this spider-man which is meant to be spider-man 2099 is kind of like hey what what you know this is an illusion what's going on and it was meant to be a spider mech kind of like in the spider-verse but only have the hulk busters so I'm just kind of using that for now and then we have the sandman and he's obviously using his sand powers to catch spider woman and then uh, Agent Venom off guard and Agent Venom isn't too surprised by that he's more caught off guard by the other other <laughs> other Venom uh, which it's because of the whole multiverse thing he's kind of not expecting that and then right down here we have where the rhino is kind of trying to attack the iron spider so he jumped out of the way and then webbed up there to avoid getting attacked and then over here, we have where Miles Morales was swinging out of here and then kicking Wilson Fisk Kingpin in the face. It's kind of hard to get a good angle of that. So maybe he's not, maybe he's not getting... There you go, now he's getting kicked in the face. And that's what's going on on this whole side of the area. And also that boat in the back. That's That's just there, that's not related to anything. All right, and then on the roof, right over here, we've got the Hobgoblin on his glider flying towards Tom Holland's Spider-Man, and he's obviously trying to attack him, but Spider-Man, as he does, jumped out of the way using his webs to catch the Goblin. And we got a little, got some pizza time going over here with a little camera set up. We got what's supposed to be Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man facing off with Doc Ock. And one thing I will kind of note, it's, it is pretty hard to get some dynamic poses considering I only really have mainly a lot of the clear brick type of pieces. So, you know, to apologize a bit for the not very excessively dynamic looks going on. But what's supposed to be going on right here Obviously, Doc Ock's trying to grab Peter with his arms, and Peter jumping from that rail, using his web to shoot at Doc Ock, and this web right here is so that he can very quickly, uh, kind of like, I guess, almost slingshot underneath him to get away from him to avoid all the arms real quick. And then over here, we've got... Okay, I guess I'll kind of explain what's going on here. Um, <laughs> so, the vulture flew in from back over here to attack the Scarlet Spider. Scarlet Spider ducked under to avoid that, or kind of like moved over here, and or over there. Uh, and then Electro came in to kind of surprise shock him. And because of spider senses, he you know jumped and avoided it last second. And then the second, I guess, uh, Scarlet Spider 2, which has been supposed to be Kane Parker, um, he came in and, you know, was able to climb up this wall to shoot Electro in the back and then kind of use his web to shoot himself up here so they can both fight him off. So that's what they're both doing right now. And then as the Vulture was flying through, you've got Peter, or <laughs> another Spider-Man, uh, and he webbed out once again from up here, webbing all the way out to shoot him and catch the Vulture. And then, yeah, come on. Oh, that's fine. Uh, but yeah, so that's pretty much what the whole outer seam is, what's all going out of here. I just kind of figured when it came to Mysterio, there wasn't really too much beyond the illusions that I could do with it. I didn't have too many extra pieces with the Sandman. And then, obviously, with all these, there are tons of ideas I had of what I could make, but... Considering all the characters I wanted to use and the limited amount of pieces I had to work with, I just did the best that I could. And out of all of them, I, I gotta say my favorite part is just the dog hawk. I just, I just love the constant, um, when you're able to have his arms longer and 
and actually make something interesting with it. That's where it's easily my favorite part of the whole thing. All right. Uh, hopefully the camera or the extra lighting will make it a little bit better. But so what's going on right here is that the window was broken and destroyed a little bit from the scorpion coming in, sneaking in from this room. And then he tried to come up and sneak up on Spider-Man Noir, which, because spider senses didn't work out, so he's able to turn around, shoot his web at him. Uh, and we got a little kitty in the bathroom, too. And then over here, kind of a bigger scene, takes up a whole part up here. Uh, so the Green Goblin came through with his glider, broke through this glass, and then Spider-Gwen, she webbed this part of the wall, kicked him off his glider so that's why his glider's over here uh because she kicked the glider towards this way and then shot a wall at the web and then sh wrapped his arms up and shot him down that way so it's supposed to be a you know happened very quickly kind of scene and that's why he's all down here all all upset looking and that's why she's all over here doing a super cool pose all right and the bottom room we've got a little bit this stuff in here and then over here is where the rhino is breaking through the wall uh, into the house by accident and then we got peter b parker from the spider-verse movie and he's got sweatpants on you know he's kind of didn't really expect that so that's why his mask he's putting it on and then i guess stealth spider-man uh he just also kind of cut off guard, so he's just jumping right out of the way. You got a little kind of kitchen right here, not really, not too used to anything specific. Um, and then over here, I, I'm not too sure. I think it's just supposed to be a different version of Spider-Man 299, because it looks almost the same, just doesn't have the little uh, things on the arms. And then what's going on right here is that the Shocker and Craven the Hunter snuck in from here, the this room, and obviously Shocker's not the quietest guy, so uh, that's why the Spider-Man kind of knew what was going on, and Craven threw a spear that he was able to dodge, and obviously Shocker's not defeated, just, you know, he, he gets caught off guard quite easily, so, and that's kind of what's going on with that scene.